Well, the holidays are upon us. So welcome to Just Ask Jade, the show where you can ask a drag queen anything. Ho, ho, ho. Hi, everyone. It's that time again for Just Ask Jade. Now, you might be noticing my wonderful hair this week. That's right. This is a new piece. This was made by the incredible Slayer. If you would like to chat with her about hair like this, you can always find her at, at Slayer Queen on Instagram. That is Slayer. We're going to post that over there, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how that works. I'm not my own editor. But anyway... You may be here for the hair, but I know you're here for the questions. So let's get to it. This is a good one. Fashion and style can be so boring for a cisgendered man. Do you have any advice for guys stuck in a routine of work clothes and t-shirts? No. Because I'm that guy too. When I'm not at work, I literally lounge around in gym shorts and a t-shirt. Um... Every once in a while, like, tis the season. I'm just going to keep going because that's funny. Um, I don't really have any good advice. I do think you should keep some fun stuff in your wardrobe. Find, don't always just have jeans, have different types of jeans. Uh, have a nice pair of khakis and a nice pair of black pants because you never know when you're going to need them. And I'm kind of getting into shoes right now. I got some really comfy shoes for work, and I like them, and I kind of want to get more. So, yeah, find what works for you. Next question. Now that you're more into social media, do you feel your social media has helped drag in a positive way or in a negative, and why? Ooh. I think it has done both. I think... Social media has been very helpful for drag queens because we're all connected a little bit more. I've started chatting with queens that I've never actually met in person. You get to see queens from all over the world doing fantastic things and doing what they love to do. The negative, girls are ready to come for you at any point. Um, a lot of girls that have been on RuPaul's Drag Race always say, never read the comments. I'm one of those girls too. Don't read the comments. Your opinion of me is none of my business. I'd like to agree with that, but however, I do read the comments. And if it's a negative one, I don't care. Come for me. Next question. If you weren't an actress and sickening drag queen, what would your occupation be and why? Ooh. Never really thought about it. I've known since I was a child I wanted to be a performer, so I've kind of put all of my eggs in that basket. There was a time where I actually thought about becoming a psychologist. I wanted to be a therapist. I thought well, that would be great. I've always loved helping people. So if I wasn't doing what I'm doing, I might think about going back into that. Next question. <laughs> if you could swap lives with any drag performer and live their life for one week, who would it be and why? Good question. You know, I think... I think my answer would probably be... It's a little predictable, but I would love to swap places with Ben De La Creme for one week. I love everything she does. I got to see her perform live when I went to Provincetown this year. She's just remarkable, and I just... I want to... I want to pop inside her brain for a little while. I also want to pop inside Katya's head for a little while just to see if it's as ridiculous as I think it is. There we go. Two answers. And our final question this time. Who is one performer you are dying to work with and one that you won't work with again? Hmm. One performer I'm dying to work with. Actually, one performer I've worked with a couple times now is Mrs. Kasha Davis. I think she's an absolute sweetheart. I would love to work with her again. One that I will not work with again. There is one I will not work with again, and I won't even dignify her by mentioning her name on this channel. That's how much I don't want her to get publicity. Enjoy that. But 
that's another episode of Just Ask Jade. If you have any questions you would like to ask a drag queen, you can always go to my website, www.jadedevere.com, or submit a, a question to me directly at ijustaskjade at gmail.com. Also, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you can see more of my content. I hope you enjoyed this episode. See you, everyone. Say goodnight, kids. Happy holidays. Children. Thank you.